This is a special episode of Let's Talk with Lakshmi. It is based on another heartbreaking occurrence, except this time, the victim is just 10 years old. This is Panita, a normal, lively little girl from East Coast Demerara in Guyana. She had dreams and aspirations like many other children her age. She loved to run and play while being a top student at her school. One early morning in November 2011, her life was horrifically altered when an unexplained fire broke out in her home. Little Panita suffered from first degree and third degree burns on her hands and legs and was wheelchair bound for over a year. Because of severe complications, her hands and feet are currently deformed. Through the kind support of Save Abi and other humanitarian organizations in Guyana and U.S., Panita will be undergoing a skin graft surgery at the Shriners Hospitals for Children in Pennsylvania. So viewers, we're here today with 10-year-old little Panita. So Panita, it sounds like you went through such a big, great ordeal. Do you remember what happened on October 11th? My father woke up mm -hmm. and he smelled smoke and he opened our front door and then he saw our house was on fire. So he started calling for my mom to tell her that she saved me and my sister. And then my mom woke up and she wake, up, wake us up. And when she wake us up, dad said, let me let she put us on the shed because he see that was the only escape and my mom put me on the shed first and I got born then and my mom and my sister escaped from the window and so you were on the shed and you were getting burned. Yes. Now, I know the doctor said that you had anywhere between first degree and third degree burns. Now, Panita baby, where exactly did you get burned? I got born I got born on my hands and my feet. And uh, now you got burned on your hands and your feet. When you were getting burned, do you remember? Do you remember what it felt like? Do you remember thinking anything? Well, I didn't feel anything. It was like a shock. I didn't feel anything as I was getting born. But after my f father took me off the shed, and so I feel my skin blazing. Now, when you were getting burned, Panita, did you think that you were going to get saved? Were you worried? Did you wonder what was going to happen to you? Yeah, I was worried about my family and so I was worried and I was yelling for help. It was four o'clock in the morning. Did anybody hear you? Mm. No. no. So, Panita, I know that you were burned especially on your hands and on your feet. Now, I heard that you couldn't walk. How long could you not walk for? Over a year. Over a year. So I know this happened October 30th, 2011. We are already in February of 2013. So I heard your bandages came off in January of 2013. Is that right? Yeah. So from October 30th, 2011 to October 30th, 2012 is one year. Yeah. Right? So October, November, December, January. So that's 15 months, 15 months that you were not walking? Before the bandage came off, a little before the bandage came off, I started to walk and so. So now this happened in Guyana and I know you did go to Georgetown Hospital. You did go to Dr. Balwan's hospital. Do you remember anything that happened in the hospital? What the doctors did, what they said? What the nurses are saying to you? The doctor did a skin graft. Mm -hmm. Well, when I first got born, mm -hmm. I, 
I could walk a little bit. But after that, and when we go to the hospital and so, and when we try to walk, me at Georgetown Hospital couldn't walk. And then when I go balancing hospital, mm -hmm. they put splint on my foot because it was like bent mm -hmm. and they couldn't straighten it. So they put a splint and I was practicing to walk. And sometimes it is hurt a lot when I just practice to walk. To walk. Were you ever worried at any time that you're not going to be able to walk again? Or do you like dancing? Hmm? You like dancing? Not much. Not much. Okay. Well, were you ever worried that you wouldn't be able to walk or run? I mean, you're a little girl. You like to run, right? Yeah. Did it ever cross your mind at any time that you wouldn't be able to do this? Yeah. Yeah. So now you're only ten years old. Mm -hmm. you must be happy, right? Happy that mm. you made it through the fire. Yeah. Right? What do you want to be when you grow older? I want to become a nurse to help little children because a lot of people help me. So I want to help back little children. And you're very strong. I mean, honestly, I thought when I was coming here today, I was going to see like a little weak, hurt little girl. Mm -hmm. But you're strong. Right? What gives you the strength to be so brave? Maybe mm -hmm. your mom? Mm -hmm. What What's giving you the strength? God. God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you pray? Yeah. Do you go to temple? Yeah. Okay. And how are you doing in school? I heard you're like a top student. Yeah. I always in first and second place. Now, I heard that you couldn't go to school for over a year, right? Yeah. But you still wrote exams even though you couldn't uh, go to school for one year. Is that right? Yeah. And what place did you come in? I come in 11th space with 70%. So that's excellent. So even though you were hurt, you were in the hospital, you couldn't walk, you couldn't do much, you were still able to carry on write your exams and come in 11th place so I just want to tell you you're doing a fantastic job so now you know there are a lot of other children right there are a lot of other children out there that may be sick right maybe yeah. they may have gotten burned or maybe they have somewhat other type of illness yeah and you're such a strong little girl I want you to tell me what would you tell a little child out there that may have to go through a surgery it might be kind of scary. What would you tell them to give them that strength that mm. they're, they're going to be okay and not and to be scared? Don't be scared. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Yeah. So I know that we're going to get your hands fixed. All right. Right now we have to cover up your hands because you have anywhere between first and third degree burns, right? All over. You have them all over your legs. You showed that to me earlier. You have them all in your hands. And in a couple of months, hopefully it's going to heal. You're going to have to wear these mittens because her fingers, ladies and gentlemen, are all crushed up. So right now she has to wear these to protect herself. And in a couple months, you're going to be able to open up your fingers. Do so you know what that means? You're going to be able to write normal. You're going to be able to play ball. You're going to jump rope. Tell me. Be able to run and play and get fun. And what what type of games do you like to play? I like to play like running catcher and so mm. running catcher, hide and seek and So I know the doctors in Guyana did skin grafts for you. And now you're in New York. You're staying with your family, Uncle Harry and Auntie Mala. And on February 26th, you've been approved to go to a hospital in Philadelphia where they're going to be doing a surgery for you, right? Yeah. Now, I understand right now you can't open your hands, right? Your fingers are kind of like stuck together and your feet, you, you still need more surgery, right? Yeah. 
So you're going to see doctors here in the United States that's going to help you get better, that they're going to help you open, be able to open up your fingers, make sure your growth process is normal, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I know there are a lot of people that, you know, stepped in and said, you know, we want to help you, right? So do you want to mention any of the people or the organizations or the Mondeers that maybe helped you? Hi. I am Punita Lalchand. I just want to take this time to express my heartfelt thanks to the following individuals and organization for all the help they have given to me and my family. First, a big thank you to Ms. Mrs. Amina Gafur and Mr. Satar Gafur of Gafur's and Son Limited in Guyana for building a house for my family. Thank you to the devotees of the Sri Sri Murti Bhavan Mandir in Queens, New York, especially Uncle Sodama. Thank you to the America Sivasram Sangha Mandir in Queens, New York, and the Sharna Gati Mandir on Farmers Boulevard, Queens, New York. The donations received from these three mandirs was used to cover doctor, doctor's bills from July of last year and to pay our way to New York. Thanks to, Ms. Thanks to Mr. Muhammad Ali of Queens, New York for all the work he put into helping to raise funds for my treatment and the wheelchair he got for me in Guyana. Special thanks to Mr. Sham Tilak and the entire Save Abbey organization for their generous pledge to help and the letters they provided to the U.S. Embassy and China's hospital pledging financial support. Thank you to the HCI organization in Canada for your donation. Also, a big thank you to all the many other individuals who have made donations of clothing and other things to us, both in Guyana and here in the United States. Special thanks to Uncle Harry and Auntie Mala of New Hyde Park, New York, for your help in getting us into Shiner's Hospital. Also, your hospitality is very much appreciated. My mom and I are truly comfortable in your home. Last but not least, a big, big thanks to Shiner's Hospital in Philadelphia for agreeing to treat me, regardless of our ability to pay. You are truly giving me a chance to have a normal life again. If anyone would like to contact my mother, she can be reached at she can be reached on her cell at 908-514-3012. Her name is Samantha. If I forgot to mention anyone he anyone here, please don't get upset or angry with me. I am very, very grateful to everyone for all you have done and still doing. Thank you, and may God bless you all. Well, Panita, you're definitely a brave little girl, and you did an excellent job. I know you were a little nervous and a little scared, but on February 26th, you're going to be going off to Shriners Children's Hospital in Philadelphia, and you're going to be so happy when they're done because your fingers are going to go, going to open up. Your skin is going to look much better. We're going to not see all these burns that you have under these mittens and under these little booties that you have on. Mm -hmm. But before we go, is there anyone back home that you want to say a special hello to? I want to say hi to my sister, my dad, all my teachers in LBI Primary School, especially my lesson teachers are Arif Ali Khan. I want to say hi to Auntie Marcy, my aunt, and all my cousins back home. And That's it? Yeah. And tell them, the next time you see me, 
I'm not going to have these mittens on, right? Tell them. The next time you see me, I'm not going to have these mittens on. Hi, Dad. I love you and everybody back home. Now, I, I, I know Mom is sitting here with us. She's not on camera. Um, but what do you have to say to Mommy? I want to thank her for all the support, my parents, for all the support and strength and everything they've done for me. Awesome. Well, viewers, thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Let's Talk with Lakshmi. We were privileged to have a little chat with Panita. She was a burn victim. And in a couple months, we're going to see a big improvement from Panita, right? Yeah. And maybe you'll send me a picture and we'll, we'll be able to show everybody that you're all back to normal. No more mittens, no more booties, right? Sure. Okay. Well, guys, I want to thank everyone who's been out there and who has been helping Panita and helping in any way that you can, not only in Panita's case, but any case. There are a lot of children, a lot of people that do need help. Well, guys, I'll see you all next week, same time, same place. It's a date. Let's, Let's talk. talk. Schenectady! Here they come! It's the Schenectady Chutney Jam, a super blast family event featuring Terry Godrod, Anand Hansraj A9, Princess Anissa, West Indian Melody Band, and the Supertones Band. It will be craziness at the Harmony Hall. Doors open at 6 p.m. For more information, call 518-952-0046. DJ Third Degree and the Radio Guyana Team New York will be broadcasting live on RadioGuyana.fm. All proceeds go to the Save Abbey Foundation. Check them out at S-A-V-E-A-B-E-E -E -E dot O-R-G. Dr. Mukund Thakur cared for the elderly in rural villages of India. His lifelong work caring for the elderly continues. The doctor realized that our Indian elders needed a place they can call home. A nursing home for our elders. Born out of this vision is an Indian nursing home in New York. In an Indian surrounding, our Indian elderly is among their own. They wake up to prayers in the temple. Indian food is served. Festivals are celebrated. Our elders are cared for by Indian nurses, serving our Indian community from Guyana, Trinidad, India, and more. I'm not inviting you as a you can you can admit your 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 loved one in my nursing home. But whenever really you need me. Please call me and I definitely, I promise you, I take care of like my own parents. Elegant Floral Design. We can help you beautify your events. No occasion is too big or too small. We specialize in floral decor and party planning for every event. Please call 718-322-9786. Please use promo code Lakshmi for a discount. Listen to Chillin' with Rose, weekdays 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. on the world's number one Chutney Soka station, Bacana Radio. One station, one voice, one nation. Rockaway Gold Buyers and Pawn Shop. Gold prices are on the rise. Visit Rockaway Gold Buyers to get the highest price on your jewelry today. Also, ask about our layaway plans. Also, pay all your bills with Payomatic. That's right. Pay your phone and cable, Macy's and car payment, mortgage and credit cards, and many more. We also do wire transfers and money orders with Western Union. Need cash? Get a four-month loan now. Mention code word Lakshmi to receive no interest for the first month on any loan up to $500. Located conveniently on 10705 Rockaway Boulevard. Call and visit us today. 718-480-8343. Rockaway Gold Buyers and Porn Shop. Big or 
or small, digital photo by buddy can capture it all. For all of your memorable events, whether it is a wedding, graduation, anniversary, sweet 16, puja, baby shower, or nine day, buddy will do it all. Just call buddy at 917-741-9876. Digital Photo by Buddy, capturing your memories. Please mention you saw this ad on Let's Talk with Luxury. Anybody know what they call a sweet man? Anybody know what they call a sweet man? I is a sweet man. Uh-huh. You know, well here, Trinidad to say horn, right? Trinidad say horn, we're gonna say. You know it's hard, right? Horn, oh, 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 you don't know? Kind of they say blow, you get in blow. <laughs> so what do you do? Somebody ball, look at this man. Say what? I say no, no, be quiet. Is this sweet man? Tell him Terry. When your husband and to walk up coming over. Oh baby, girl, come to the party shoulder. When your husband can't do, walk and come in over. Oh baby, girl, come to the party shoulder. Take a ballet, manu she go. I jump over she fence and to she window. When your husband can't do, walk and come in over. Oh baby, girl, come to the party shoulder. When your husband can't do, walk and come in over Oh baby girl come, don't do my shoulder Turn it up, 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 turn it up.
keep walking You're falling from my plan, boy You're falling from above Listen to me, darling Monique, you're by my love Falling from my plan, boy You're falling from above Listen to me